With this video we're going to look at the ability to use aerial imagery as the starting point for creating accurate 3D roof geometry using the AppliCAD Solar Wizard. The starting point for any digitizing is the aerial image. The aerial image can be captured from various sources um, such as uh, Google, uh, Near Maps, uh, Bing, um, anywhere where uh, pictometry, anywhere where you get a good quality image. Now you capture the image using various screen capture tools. There's one in Google. There's also a thing called snipping tool in Microsoft Windows 7. So you capture the tool uh, to your uh, clipboard, uh, paste it into Microsoft Paint, um, clip it to a, a good size and then save it to the AppliCAD working directory. And that's typically the AppliCAD user directory. So once saved, the image is available to be used. And the result would be a 3D model, and in this case, with solar radiation calculated. Let's start with a new screen. We go to Construct Roof, Digitize Outline, and then enable the unscaled image. At this stage, the image is totally unscaled, but we did take some dimensions while we were in our um, aerial image tool, such as Google where we, uh, we measured the gross length and gross width. We place those measurements into the box and then digitize the uh, origin of the job, the width of the job, and the height of the job, and the image will be rescaled to be full size on the screen and rotated to be normal to the screen. This makes it simpler to digitize. Now we're going to digitize the outline based on the um, default constraint values for angle and length. Uh, you can change those to suit your needs. And then we start digitizing around the perimeter. And in this case, plus or minus 45 degrees and to plus or minus 100 millimeters. So it's um, use the cursor to guide you. And then when we get to the uh, penultimate corner, we right click and use close square to automatically close out the perimeter. We get the option to rescale should that be necessary, but normally it's not. We hit OK. And then the software prompts for the parameters which define the correct roof geometry. Now the most important feature of this is the roof pitch. And we cannot figure that from the picture we see now. So we have to go to an elevation image. And in this case, we go to Google Street View. So uh, using the image in Google Street View, we can quite precisely measure the pitch of the roof. That measurement goes into the dialog box and then we hit OK and continue and the, the roof is constructed in 3D. So at this stage we can see we have a couple of features here called Dutch gables. So if we were to add the Dutch gables simply by selecting one of the multitude of uh, modify roof functions and if we go to our isometric view you'll see we have the 3D geometry constructed. You can also see that, whoops, we've missed a Dutch gable there. So we go back to our modify function and we can edit the image in any view. So having the image um, in uh, isometric or in plan view, we're able then to uh, verify the accuracy image. Uh, we can also add features such as our chimneys. We can see we have a chimney here. Uh, we go to our, our figure library and uh, add the chimney and uh, it's then placed on the job. We're now ready to calculate the, uh, the solar radiation. So in this case, uh, we put our north symbol in. Uh, we can turn the image off. We don't need that anymore, so we just hide it from view. And then we calculate our solar radiation. So in the case of a uh, radiation type job for a solar calculation, that is the process and how easy and quick was that. Once the calculation is complete, the uh, software prompts to rotate the model back to normal to screen and then prompts for the legend. So there we have it. A quick and easy way, saving gas, saving time and saving exposing ourselves to the dangers of falling off a roof. That completes this uh, little instructional video. We hope you enjoyed it and thank you.